What's up guys, just working on the 2010 Mark VI. Uh, a while back we did a decarbon on the intake valves and that made a big, big difference. So I thought we would install an oil catch can on the PCV to try to minimize that uh, oil buildup on the intake ports or carbon buildup on the intake ports and the valves. Um, so let's see about putting that in. So here is our oil catch can. So it has an inlet and an outlet. Um, I've just built this little L bracket to mount to the radiator support. Uh, if I open it up, show you what's on the inside. So in here is kind of the screen for the inlet. So it's just basically a ball of, of steel wool. And uh, that's going to hopefully catch the vapor, like the oil vapor fumes into that mesh. And then it'll just drip into this container. And every once in a while, when the container's full, you just unscrew it and pour the oil out. And that uh, deals with that extra amount of fumes and oil vapor and all the crap from the PCV that is plugging up the intake ports and the intake valves. Uh, it comes with this handy little dip and stick, which is kind of neat. So you can just check the level of the oil in there so you know if you have to empty the can or not. So we're going to have... Uh, from the crankcase in here and then from the oil catch can back to the intake on here. So I'm just going to mount that over here on the radiator support. Alrighty, so here is our PCV vent, right? So <clears throat> fumes are drawn out of the crankcase over here, moisture, condensation, all that stuff we don't want in there, and then it's brought back into the intake. And uh, this is a direct injection engine, so that's a big reason why the valves, intake valves and intake ports get plugged up on the DI engines is because the fuel used to be sprayed into the ports and that used to clean the valves and the ports because that's where the detergent is. And now with the fuel being directly injected inside the cylinders, there's nothing to clean the valves. So we're gonna see how our oil catch can is gonna work. So I'm gonna basically cut this uh, somewhere in the center so I can tee in our oil catch can and uh, hopefully that does the trick. The fittings off the oil catch can are a little small for the holes we're going to use, so I'm just going to swap that out with some bigger ones. Can't squeeze the coupler because I can't get my fingies in there. You're supposed to be able to squeeze it and it spreads out the two sides. All right, let's try this. There we go. So I think what I might try to do is this has been somewhat heat shrink, I guess, on the end of this uh, plastic elbow. So I should be able to remove this. And hopefully I can just put the hose directly onto that and seal it with the hose clamp. So let's try. Snap, crackle, pop. Oh, look at that. Beauty. 
do that on the other side too. Excellent. Perfect. All we need is two host clamps or four host clamps. Tickety boo, yo. Should have put the clamp on first. Whew. Spit on it. Hawk tool. There you go. That's it. That's all. Oh, shit. Better put the cover back on. There you go. Look at how racy that looks.